Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys how to root the Samsung Fast Name on Verizon. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's this guide on XDA developers that I found. Just download these files to your PC. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So you can just download these files. Um, you'll need the Samsung drivers, Odin, Clockwork Mod, and Super User. Those are the four that you just need to download. So, just get Odin and open it. See, after you install it, just click open. Um, now, take your phone, hold volume, well, unside this little cover thing first. Get your USB, hold volume down, and plug your USB while you're holding volume down. Okay, now let go when you get this downloading. This is the download mode. Just put that there. Now, on one of the boxes will turn yellow. See right here where it says COM4. Um, now, just go to PDA. Just click PDA. And it'll open up this little box where you just click on the Clockwork Mod Recovery All that you've downloaded. Click open and it'll show right there. And then click start. And as you can see over here in the left box. Alright, and it says pass. See how it's green? It says pass. Now you're done with that. I forgot to click the auto reboot. I'm gonna plug my phone, pull the battery out really quick. Um, when you're doing this, make sure auto reboot is unchecked in the settings. But after you've done that, press volume up and volume down and the power button. You, sh you should see Samsung twice. On the second time, that's when you release the volume up and volume down the power button. See? You've seen it twice. Let go. And should boot in a clockwork mod. Make sure you put the super user zip on your SD card, by the way. Um, now you're in clockwork mod. I don't know if you can see that or not. Go to install zip, press power, go to choose zip, press power, go now to super su, see at the bottom, sorry about the light, I don't know why it's not focusing, there we go, go to that, press power on yes, and it will, it says install from SD card complete. I don't know if you've seen that because it was kind of blurry, so let me go through it again. Just go to install zip, go to choose zip, and then you just navigate to it. Um, after this, you should be rooted. Just on hit reboot now. And this is my first time rooting a Samsung Fascinating, so let's see how this goes. It should boot up. Still booting up. After this boots up, you should have super user in your app drawer. So just wait for it to boot up. I just felt it vibrate, so it should be turning on and unlock with it puzzle. Home screen setup is still the same. Okay, so it's kind of loading. Media scanner. Um, okay, go over, go over. And here's super user. Go to it. 
open it. Let me see more of that. Yes. Sorry about the text. All right. Um, go down to super user binary. This is going to check for updates. So at the very bottom, super user binary. And it should be up to date. Just if you want the latest, go to the market. Go to market, load up market really quick. Go to search super user. Man, super user right here. Pass has installed. Click update. Click accept and download. And it should download. It says updating. Now I click open. Click open. And here's the new super user app. You got the logs. Go to menu. Settings. Alright, now I go scroll down. Check for updates. Click update. BusyBox is not installed though. So like you just have to go download a BusyBox installer off the market. Actually I I'll, I can even show you how to do that. Go up here to search, busy box. Sorry about the clicking, busy box installer. Go to search. Sorry, I couldn't point at the camera. Oh, I spelled busy box wrong. Busy box installer. Okay, so just go to. J Rummies, because J Rummies is the first one there. Go to install, go to accept and download. As you can probably see by now, this is my sister's phone, because my name is not Christy. But now we're just going to open, go to allow. It asks you, that's how you know you're really right there when it asks you, and then continue. Busy box, just click install. And it's installing, so it should be installed now. Now I go back, go back, keep, keep clicking back. Oh, we'll just go in here, go to open up super user now. Now I go back to menu, press preferences, go back down to the bottom, click on the update anyways. And, well, at least it, it updated before. I'm not sure why it's not working. Alright, so, just, it works. You have um, Super User Access and BusyBox. I just installed BusyBox, but it's saying something about ND5 mischeck, so I'm going to try to reinstall it and see what happens. But that's how you reach the Samsung Fascinate on Verizon. So, yeah.